Hello students, now in this video we will learn the test for the congruence of the two triangles. We will see all the tests for the congruency, sort examples and practice set 3.2. I will explain all the examples in a very simple language. Now let us start the test for the congruence of the two triangles. Now let's learn congruence of triangles in a given 1 1 correspondence if the two angles of triangle abc are equal to two angles of the triangle eqr and the side included by the respective pairs of angles are also equal then the two triangles are congruent that is in triangle abc and the triangle EQR. Angle B is a congruent to angle Q, angle C is a congruent to angle R and the side in between these two angles that is a side BC is a congruent to side QR. Then these two triangles are congruent by ASA test. Now the next test is in a given 1 1 correspondence if the two sides of triangle ABC are equal to two sides of the triangle PQR and the angles included by the respective pairs of the sides are also equal, then the two triangles are congruent. Now in triangle ABC and the triangle PQR, segment AB is a congruent to segment PQ. Angle B is a congruent to angle Q and segment BC is a congruent to segment QR and therefore the triangle ABC is a congruent to triangle EQR and this test is known as SAS test. In a given 1 1 correspondence, if three sides of triangle ABC are equal to three sides of triangle PQR, then the two triangles are congruent. This property is called side 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 test which in short is written as SS test. Now see this in triangle ABC and the triangle PQR. Segment AB is a congruent to segment PQ. Segment BC is a congruent to segment QR and the segment AC is a congruent to segment PR. Therefore the triangle ABC is a congruent to triangle PQR. Next, in triangle ABC and triangle PQR, angle B is a congruent to angle Q, which are the right angles. Hypotenuse AB is a sorry, uh, side AB is a congruent to side PQ. Okay, and they are hypotenuse. Their hypotenuse, that is a hypotenuse AC, is a congruent to hypotenuse PR, and therefore these two triangles are congruent by side hypotenuse test. And this property is known as the side hypotenuse test. It is written as HS test or the hypo side test. Okay, now we'll see the practice set 3.2. It's very simple. In each of the examples given below, a pair of triangle is shown equal parts of the triangle in each pair are marked with the same sign. Observe the figure and state the step, step by which the triangles in each pair are congruent. In triangle ABC and the triangle PQR, that is in triangle ABC, that is a segment AB is a congruent to segment PQ. Segment BC is a congruent to segment QR and the segment AC is a congruent to segment PR. Therefore, these two triangles are congruent by SSS test and it is written as triangle ABC is a congruent to triangle PQR. Now the next, triangle XYZ, in triangle XYZ and the triangle LMN. Segment XY is a congruent to segment LM. Angle Y is a congruent to angle M and the segment YZ is a congruent to segment MA and therefore the, by the SAS test these two triangles are congruent. That is a triangle XYZ is a congruent to triangle 
L M N. What about the next? In triangle P Q R and the triangle S T U. That is the angle P is a congruent to angle S. Angle P is a congruent to angle S. Next, segment P R is a congruent to segment T S, and the angle R is a congruent to angle T, and therefore these two triangles are congruent by a s a test and therefore triangle p r q is a congruent to triangle s t u in this way now the next that is in triangle l m n and the triangle p t r what's happening here these two triangles are the right angle triangles and the segment l m is a congruent to segment p t and the hypotenuse are also congruent that a hypotenuse ln is a congruent to hypotenuse pr and therefore these two triangles are congruent by side hypotenuse test that is a triangle lmn is a congruent to triangle ptr now the next question number two observe the information shown in pairs of triangles given below state the test by which the two triangles are congruent write the remaining congruent parts of the triangles now first is very simple question that is in triangle abc and the triangle pqr we have given in this figure that is angle abc is a congruent to angle pqr segment bc is a congruent to segment qr this is also given angle acb is a congruent to angle prq and it is also given therefore the triangle abc is a congruent to triangle pqr by a s a test it's very simple what about the remaining parts the remaining angle bac is a congruent to angle q p r bac bac is congruent to q p r and the remaining parts that is segment ab is a congruent to segment pq segment ac is congruent to segment pr okay these are the remaining congruent parts now next see this figure that in this figure the triangle ptq ptq and the triangle str segment pt is a congruent to segment ts angle p t q is a congruent to angle str vertically opposite and the segment tq is a congruent to segment tr which is given therefore these two triangles are congruent by s a s test therefore these are the vertically opposite tq is congruent to tr is given therefore the triangle p t q is a congruent to triangle s t r okay what about the remaining parts that is the remaining part triangle angle p t q is a congruent to angle t s r angle t p t q p is a congruent to angle t r s Therefore, and the segment PQ is a congruent to segment SR. Now, the next from the information shown in the figure, state the test. Now, see these these two are the right angle triangles. That is a side in triangle ABC and the triangle PQR. Side AB is a congruent to side PQ. Hypotenuse BC is congruent to hypotenuse. PR and therefore these two triangles are congruent by side hypotenuse test and their corresponding parts that is a side AC is a congruent to side QR angle ABC is congruent to angle QPR that is a CAC CACP and the angle ACP is a congruent to angle QRP CACT now the next question number four as shown in the figure in triangle LMN and the triangle PNM the congruent parts are given which is that LM is a congruent to PN next LN is a congruent to PM write the test which assures the congruence of the two triangles write their remaining congruent parts in triangle LMN and the PNM that is SSS test how it is that is LM is congruent to MP LM is a congruent to PN 
and MN, which is common to these both triangles. MN side ka sheet are only triangles la thi common hai. Ani ek dum sopa hai. Seventh, eighth triangle la ya prakar cha test to me. Bagi tel hai. Therefore, these two triangles are congruent by the SSS test. What are the remaining parts? That is the angle. MLN is a congruent to angle NPM. Angle MNN is a congruent to angle PNM. Angle LNM is a congruent to angle PMN. These are the corresponding angles of the congruent triangles. And in this way. Now the next is in figure the segment AB is a congruent to segment CB. Segment AD is a congruent to segment CD, which is given. What about the BD? BD is a common side again. That is a triangle A B D is a congruent to triangle C B D. These two triangles are the congruent by the SSS test. That is segment A B is congruent to segment C B. Segment A A D is a congruent to segment C D. Segment B D is a congruent to segment B D, which is common. Therefore, the triangle A B D is a congruent to triangle C B D. S S S test of the congruence and in this one. Now the next figure, in figure, angle P is a congruent to angle R and the segment PQ is a congruent to segment RQ. Prove that these two triangles are congruent, that is a triangle PTQ, PTQ is a congruent to triangle RQS. Again, I will repeat that is a triangle PQT is a congruent to triangle RQS. It's again very simple. These two angles are congruent and the side. And again, Q angle is a common to these triangles. Therefore, by ASA test. Now, in triangle PQT and the triangle RSQ, that is angle PQT is a congruent to angle RQS, common angle. Segment PQ is a congruent to segment RQ. This is given. Angle QPT is a congruent to angle QRS, which is given. And therefore, the triangle PQT is a congruent to triangle RQS. That is by the test ASA test of the congruence. And in this way, we have completed the practice set 3.2. Now we will see in the next video. Till then, goodbye.